Hi, my people. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are healthy, of sound mind, heart, body, soul. And thank you for joining me. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And there's been a lot going on, um, you know, in the news world, the celebrity world. Of course, Diddy. You know, we've been keeping up with Diddy. You know, um, also, I got a predicted it about Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry's cause of death came out or um, the autopsy or something like that. And drugs were found in his system. They did say he drowned as well, or that there was like something with drowning as well, which I did predict. There were a lot of people saying, you know, oh, you know, they're saying uh, there was a lot of people saying, you know, that, you know, he was sober, you know, and, um, you know, he didn't drown. And then, of course, the the facts come out that he was not sober. Ketamine was found in his system. Um, and also there was something about drowning. I saw I'm going to have to do a predicted it on that. So, you know. I always trust spirit. Spirit never lies. I'm always accurate. Y'all know that. You know, so I, th I thought that was interesting. Here we are to do a reading. Another reading on another SA Me Too situation. Now, this is a very, it's kind of sad. They're all sad. But this is a very sad one because um, this is Christian Keys. Christian Keys <clears throat> is very popular I know him from Tyler Perry movies and Tyler Perry TV shows and plays. I'm sure he's been in some other stuff. I'm not a big follower of his career. He's very handsome, you know, um, and seems like a nice guy. But Christian Keys, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather as well. Um, so I'm getting over what I believe is a cold. Actually, I need to take some black seed oil. Um, I need to take some black seed oil this morning. So I'll do that after the, the video. So if I clear my throat, <clears throat> if I, um, you know, or anything like that, it's because I'm, I'm getting over, um, a little, you know, a little tickle in my throat, child, a little, a little cold, honey. But anyways, um, with that being said, Christian Keys recently came out and said that he's had a situation with a p high powered <clears throat> or a very powerful black billionaire in Hollywood, um, Apparently, this billionaire has tried to Me Too or S.A. Christian Keys multiple times. Apparently, Christian Keys, of course, this is in, in a, a Instagram Live. So if you want to go watch his Instagram Live, you know, where he spills all the tea, but doesn't mention the name of the person he's talking about. I recommend going to go do that because I'm just going to give you, you know, the bits and pieces that are most important pertaining to this reading we're about to do right now. So Christian came out and basically said that he has recordings on um, little Apple pens, um, thumb drives, ma uh, magnets or something like keychains. First of all, I didn't know all these things could do these things. I didn't know you could record audio or record something via a pen or via a magnet, you know, or a keychain. So that's very interesting. But apparently he has recordings of this billionaire you know, person in Hollywood, um, how do I say this without YouTube, like, demonetizing me, um, acting inappropriate, I'll say, like, wanting Christian Keys to take his shirt off, take his clothes off, I think at one point, I, you know, because I watched some of the video, and Christian was like, you know, he, he offered me, once again, we don't know who the high-powered billionaire is, but we're gonna check that in this reading, but I just want to give you guys the key points. Uh, Christian said at one point, this high-powered billionaire, black billionaire, offered Christian Keys like $100,000 just to see him naked. Ciao. Now, let me just not go there. Anyways, it's just a very sad situation. Um, and I want to see what's going on. So let's go ahead and do a quick uh, channeling on Christian Keys in this situation. And then, of course, we're going to see what the cards have to say. Because spirit never lies, child. Before I get into the reading, I do want to remind you all that I am available for personal readings right now. My books are clear. Meaning that right now, um, I don't have any, you know, clients um, in queue, in line right now, waiting for their readings. So if you get a reading now, you will be first up. You'll get your reading sooner rather than later most likely within one to two days. Um, but if you get a phone reading, of course, you know, um, you get the, you get a phone reading the same day, typically, unless you want to schedule it, you know, at a different time. 
So I'm also available for candles. I have been lighting candles as well for clients as well. So definitely I recommend getting a candle. It's Mercury Retrograde. So Mercury Retrograde, you always want to get like a protection candle or an open roads blockage removal candle or cleansing candle. All right. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this reading on Christian Keys. Oh, by the way, I want to show you on my website. Duh. So this is my website. Once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. LamarTownsandTarot.com. This is my website. So once you've reached this page, like I said, you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook where I post as well. And if you would like your own reading, go right to the store section. This is where you would go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different things I do offer. I offer email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings, candles, birth chart readings, uh, protection candles, cleansing candles, money candles, love candles, blockage removal candles, custom candles. I also do mediumship readings, past life readings, compatibility birth chart readings, dream interpretations, astrology classes, spiritual development classes, tarot classes, and more. So thank you all for listening and watching. Let's get into the reading on Christian Keys. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up the channels so that I can connect with the energy of Christian Keys and get some clarity on the situation involving this high, powerful producer or this high-powered billionaire in Hollywood. Thank you for giving us clarity and insight into the situation. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting those watching this video. Thank you for protecting my space, those that inhabit my space, any extension of my space. Thank you for allowing the energy to leave from whence it came. In the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Oh yes, we're Jesus believers over here, child. Yeah. Proud, proud Jesus believers. All right. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this reading on Christian Keys. Just let me take a few deep breaths to get in the energy. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to get clarity and insight on Christian Keys. Who is this high-powered billionaire? Give us some insight onto Christian Keys and his SA Me Too situation with this high-powered billionaire in Hollywood. So the first thing I'm getting is that Christian, whoever this high-powered billionaire is, this isn't the only person that Christian has come across that has tried him in some way, shape, or form, that has offered sexual favors in some way, shape, or form towards him. I feel like part of the reason why he's coming out about this specific person, this specific high-powered person, is because he's. it's like the energy I get is he's sick and tired. I feel like, once again, I don't follow him, so I don't know what's going on in his career currently. But I feel like it's like... It's almost like there's a glass ceiling with Christian Keys. And the glass ceiling, like... Is, like, his attractiveness. Right? Right? And in order to break that glass ceiling and rise above into higher territories, higher opportunities, he has to play the game. And we know what the game is in Hollywood, you know, and how it's played. Casting couch, you know, parties and things of this nature. Um, I feel like there's something where, you know, like Christian, it's like he definitely tries to stick to his moral values. But it's hard, like, in Hollywood to do that, right? The thing is, though, is I feel like he's always been, like, lauded or he's always been, like, um, 
put on a pedestal put on a pedestal because of his attractiveness because of his his um physical physicality and it's almost like at the beginning of his career it was like a novelty it's like you know oh i'm attractive you know i can book any role i want to because of my attractiveness but it's like he's booking roles where he has to take his shirt off or like he has to be like the hot guy kind of thing but the novelty starts to wear off i feel like especially as you get older in hollywood whether you're male or female <coughs> I feel like the novelty of that has worn off for him. I feel like he wants to get into more serious roles or something like that. But there's something where, once again, that glass ceiling, you know, in order to get those serious roles, like you, you got to play the game, unfortunately. So I feel like him calling out this high powered billionaire, whoever they are, it's like. It's almost like that's, this is Christian's way of saying F you to the industry. Like, fine, you won't book me for roles, you know, be, you know, because you want me to do these things that go against my moral values. Fine, I'm going to call you out then. I'm going to call out one of, one of your people kind of thing to show you I'm not playing. That's what I get about him. So I don't know if it's necessarily fully about money with him and calling out this high powered billionaire as more is as, as more it's about like integrity in the industry. And obviously I feel like he has been inspired by you know all these you know situations coming out. I hear Black Hollywood, Black Hollywood. It's almost like and I'm going to say this and I'm going to say allegedly because I don't want anyone coming after me. Um, and being upset, but it feels like Black Hollywood. I'll say it this way: It feels like Black Hollywood in itself is a glass ceiling. What do I mean by that? Black Hollywood is like, it's like recycled roles, recycled, like recycled storylines, like churning the Chitlin circuit kind of thing. But the Chitlin circuit has evolved into not just, you know, performing on stage and I don't know, vaudeville, although I don't know if vaudeville was a part of the Chitlin circuit. I'm just giving examples. Um, or like performing in nightclubs, you know, where it's like majority black. A majority black nightclub or a majority black town nightclub kind of thing. Like there's something about that where that was back in the day, but now the Chitlin circuit has evolved into black centered movies that are catered just to black people. Um, black centered TV shows, such as, you know, shows on TV one, any Tyler Perry, you know, TV show or movie, you know, is the, ch the new Chitlin circuit, right? But I have to be honest with you. And I'm not saying Tyler Perry is the one who did this, but we will check that, right? No one's really evolving. No one is really... No one's career is skyrocketing due to them doing a Tyler Perry movie or a Tyler Perry uh, TV show, right? <clears throat> And then I don't know why I keep seeing Lupita Nyong'o. You got people like Lupita Nyong'o who have who have broken that glass ceiling in a way, right? And maybe wouldn't be caught dead, you know, in a Tyler Perry movie or TV show or on the on the the Black Chitlin circuit. She's beyond that, right? But she started beyond that at the same time, right? Will Smith. But at the same time, these people played the game. Will Smith played the game. We know that very well. You know, it's well documented. Lapita Nyong'o, you know, unbeknownst to us, played the game as well. And the game doesn't always have to be like SA, sex sexual, you know, things or anything like that. Sometimes the game is doing stuff for free, you know, showing up to award shows where you don't get paid. Maybe you're actually spending money to show up to this award show 
you're losing money to like that's that's also playing the game but there's something where like christian keys i don't think he's in that position like to play the game the only way like money wise i'm sure he's doing fine for himself but it's like he's not a will smith or lapita nyong'o in that way right So the like it's almost like the only thing he has is his looks, is his body as co as collateral or as um as a way to pay to get in, right? So I feel like whoever this high-powered billionaire in Hollywood is, they've actively like tried to or actively worked to keep Christian Key stuck in his career to the point where it's like, you know, if you want to rise above, if you want to have higher opportunities, you have to go through me to get those opportunities. Like that's how they've set this, you know, this guy Christian up in his, his career. So I have to say, you know, he, he you know, he, not around the best people, you know? Not around the best people. Now let's name some culprits as to who possibly could be behind, you know, this situation or who could be this high-powered billionaire. Well, of course, there's always Diddy, right? I say that because the timing is a little bit interesting with Christian Keys coming out and telling his story in the midst of Diddy, you know, in his situation. Now, I don't know if Christian Keys has worked with Diddy or not, you know, but, you know, Diddy could be, you know, one, one suspect, right? But I go back to the Chitlin circuit. Tyler Perry is another suspect. You know who else is a, a part of the Chitlin, the black Chitlin circuit? Lee Daniels. Precious, anyone? So the three culprits I can think of in terms of who could be this high-powered billionaire, it's either Lee Daniels, Diddy, or Tyler Perry. Because he did say it's someone we know or are familiar with as well. Christian did. I don't know why I'm also seeing someone. It looks like, like an L.A. Reid or something like that, though. So maybe maybe we could put L.A. Reid on the, on the list. But I don't feel like I would be familiar with L.A. Reid's voice. I don't know. Anyways, so those are the four people I'm seeing as who could be suspects behind the person doing Mr. Christian. It's almost like this is causing depression with Christian as well. Like the fact that he can't break through this glass ceiling due to his looks. But you know what? Mm, okay, spirit. Okay. I I got it now. Let me let me get some water on that. Spirit never lies, child. Okay, just finished that off. Sorry, y'all. Got to stay hydrated when you're getting over a cold. Um, <clears throat> okay, going back to what Spirit told me a second ago, him, Christian Keys coming out about this billionaire is his way of breaking that glass ceiling. Like, literally, if we could... If we could break this down, if we could break Christian Keys, if we could break down Christian Keys coming out about this billionaire trying to SA assault him, right? Um, <clears throat> like if we broke it down to an action, the action would literally be Christian. Remember when um, Chris Brown 
like was that good morning america and he threw that chair through the window that would be christian keys like this is the this is like his his moment of like breaking the window breaking the glass ceiling i've had enough i'm fed up like this is my breakdown this is my mental breakdown like this this is what is going on with him I feel like whoever this high-powered uh, billionaire is, I feel like there could be already, as we speak right now, there could be, like, I feel like Christian and this this th this man could be talking and there could be negotiations right now that Christian could be going through with this high-powered billionaire. But once again, it's like a game. And Christian Keys is this high powered billionaire's toy in the game. <clears throat> His boy toy. I feel like Christian could walk away from the industry for a little while, but he could come back, I feel like. I don't know why he's a family man, so I don't know if he has children or like maybe he just wants to spend more time with family. I do get some weird. <clears throat> I do get some weird energy from Tyler Perry towards Christian. In the sense that, like Tyler, may find Christian attractive allegedly. Like I don't know why I see like Tyler Perry and Christian. Most like in Tyler's office, Tyler sitting behind a desk like this right here, and um, Christian is on the other side, and like it's almost like Tyler Perry is looking at him and like licking his lips, and it's like making Christian uncomfortable, you know. I don't know why I'm hearing Diddy's voice, though. Like, I feel like I hear Diddy's voice on a recording. I feel like whoever did this to Christian is someone on the Chitlin circuit, the black Chitlin circuit. I'm going to stick to that. <clears throat> um, I get the number three. So three days, three weeks, three months. Or the number three could be important. I hear healing. This is a part of Christian's healing from what he's gone through. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the cards and see what the cards have to say. Let's check these high-powered uh, black celebrities in Hollywood and see who was it that did Mr. Christian. And we're black. I'm um, sitting here and burning sage to cleanse the cards. Thank you for cleansing, clearing energy. Just talking to me past reading. Amen, amen, amen. So what we're going to do is this is typically what I do when I do personal readings. Like, for example, when someone I've one frequent thing is if like someone is like um, applying to different schools or something like that. I usually have the client go one by one, like instead of like doing a whole spread on it. It's like, OK, what schools are you thinking of? And let's go one by one and see like what I pick up about each one. So what we're going to do is in this reading, I'm going to go one by one in terms of the suspects I picked up on and see which one did it, who did it. All right. <clears throat> it's like the movie Scream. Who's the one behind the mask, child? All right. Who done it? Let's start with Diddy. Was Diddy the one? Is Diddy the one? Is Diddy the high powered billionaire that has tried to manipulate or me to christian keys is diddy the one behind 
Christian Keys and his story about his Me Too situation with the high-powered black billionaires. Diddy, the, the culprit. <clears throat> I get the Four of Swords as the first card. Four of Swords is being amongst a group of people. It is also can be involved with secrets or holding other people's secrets. Two of Swords connected to money and finances, personal belongings. The Knight of Pentacles facing that card. I wonder what Christian Keys' zodiac sign is. Let me look that up real quick. <coughs> He's a Leo. All right. Okay, good to know. Hmm, is Diddy the one? I get the magician card, secrecy, manipulation, life behind closed doors. All right. Magic. If it's not Diddy, it's because of Diddy and what he's going through that Christian also have came out about his situation. So Diddy may have inspired it. And Diddy may have inspired Christian to come out if Diddy's not the one who actually did it. I don't know. I get the Ace of Wands. Ooh, this isn't looking good. Ace of Wands connected to work. Five of Cups. Not good, Diddy. I get the Ace of Pentacles. It's possible it could have been Diddy, y'all. I get the World card connected to Travel. The Nine of Wands. It's possible it was Diddy. Diddy may be the number one suspect. Six of Wands. The Justice card. Ooh. The last card is the Fool card. It's possible it was Diddy. All right. It's definitely possible that it was Diddy. Interesting. Mm-mm-mm. And with the Six of Wands connected to the past, Six of Wands is a card of overcoming obstacles, movement forward, but it's facing the Nine of Wands connected to optimism, stepping outside one's comfort zones. There's something here with Diddy and Christian Keys. <clears throat> They've had some uncomfortable, maybe there's been some uncomfortable situations. Let's do Lee Daniels next. Is Lee Daniels the one, the high-powered billionaire that tried to me to Christian Keys? Is Lee Daniels the one, the high-powered billionaire that Christian Keys was talking about that tried to me to him? Is Lee Daniels the one? Is Lee Daniels the one I get the Six of Swords? <clears throat> hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. Money shows up here. The Magician card shows up again. Why does the Magician card keep showing up? There's definitely something with Lee Daniels as well. The Knight of Pentacles shows up again, facing the Magician card. Two of Swords. The Ten of Cups. Mm, I don't know if it's Lee. I get the Queen of Pentacles. I get the Knight of Wands. This could be um Christian. He is a Leo with the Seven of Swords connected to the past. Secrecy. <coughs> Life behind closed doors. Seven of Swords can be mental health issues or... I get the death card. I don't think it was Lee. Seven of Cups. There may be some secrecy with Lee, or there may be some stories out there about Lee Daniels, obviously, um, that could get caught caught in the crossfires in some way, but I don't think Lee Daniels was directly the one that did this to Christian Keys. All right. <clears throat> so far, it looks like Diddy. Diddy may be the number one suspect. Let's look at Tyler Perry. Or who else did I say? Um, Lee Daniels, Diddy, 
Tyler Perry. Oh, who else did I say, y'all? Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry. Why can't I think of the last guy's name? <clears throat> Maybe because he's not the culprit. I can't think of the last person I said, you all. Maybe it'll come back to me. Let's just do Tyler Perry. Is Tyler Perry the person behind? Is Tyler Perry the person that Christian Keys was talking about when he said a high-powered billionaire tried to essay him? Is Tyler Perry the person that Christian Keys was talking about who tried to meet to him? Is it Tyler Perry? I get the Page of Cups. L.A. Reed. That's who I was talking about. L.A. Reed. Okay. We'll look at him next. I get the Five of Pentacles, which could be a lack of work, a lack of money coming in. I get the Emperor connected to communication in the mind. I get the Tower card connected to emotions, family, and the home. Ooh. Not good. Not, not good. Not good at all for Tyler. I get the four of wands. I get the three of wands. The fool card. The queen of cups. The tower card is concerning, though. The emperor is showing up. The ace of pentacles. The justice card. The last card is the six of wands. Mm. It's possible it could be Tyler, but I'm going to say Diddy's the number one suspect. Tyler's probably the number two suspect in terms of who did this to Christian Keys. Um, Because that tower card is concerning, connected to emotions, family, and the home. Give us, I want some clarity on the tower card showing up here. <clears throat> Spirit, please give me clarity as to why the tower card showed up in the position of home, family, and emotions for the spread about whether Tyler Perry is the one who did Mr. Christian Keys. The Hierophant shows up. Hierophant is divine rules, regulations. Can speak of advice, life advice, spiritual advice, legal advice. <laughs> but Knight of Pentacles keeps showing up here. Um, I get the Temperance card connected to money, the Moon card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Ace of Cups facing the Page of Swords. You know what I think it is? I think it's the fact that people think it's Tyler Perry. That's the issue. Because Christian didn't come out and clarify who it was, I think that that's what the tower was relating to. I think that's like causing some issues, maybe. I'm going to say the number one suspect is Diddy. Now, we can do a reading on L.A. Reed really quickly because his name did come up when I was channeling energy, channeling spirit. Let's go ahead and see really quickly. Is it L.A. Reed that did this to Christian Keys? Is it L.A. Reed that did this to Christian Keys? 
Is it L.A. Reed that tried to me to Christian Keys in some way? Seven of Swords. Why does the Knight of Pentacles keep showing up? Is this Christian? But he's a Leo. Maybe he has some Earth in his chart somewhere. Is it L.A. Reed? I don't know why I get young people showing up here. Ten of Swords connected to intimacy. Three of Swords connected to the past, the Hermit card, the Justice card. L.A. Reed may have something out there, too. I'm not sure if it's connected to Christian or not, but the Justice card is the last card. L.A. Reed may be going through his own situation as well. So each of the men I mentioned definitely have something going on with them. All right, but the number one suspect I saw was Diddy, for sure. All right. Um, are we going to find out who did this to Christian Keys? Are we going to find out who did this to Christian Keys? Are we eventually going to find out who did this to Christian Keys, who tried to meet to Christian Keys? Are we eventually going to find out? Eight of Cups. It could take some time. There could be some reluctance, definitely. Um, to out the person, I get a queen of pentacles, a woman connected to money and finances, facing the page of pentacles. Could be a mother or a female and a child showing up here as well. I feel like whatever Christian, whoever this person, Christian, is going to announce did it, it's, it's the tip of the iceberg. I don't know why I hear that. It's the tip of the iceberg. Like I said, I feel like there's negotiations behind the scenes going on. The justice card shows up. There could be maybe a lawsuit or legalities that show up concerning this situation. Maybe that's how we find out who is who it is. The Knight of Pentacles shows up again. It's almost like someone doesn't want the person to get out in terms of who did it. But I feel like other people know who did it as well. So someone could tell the secret as well. That's what I see actually. Someone could end up telling someone could end up telling the secret as well. Mm -mm -mm. This is juicy, child. All right, let's get a final card. Remember I'm available for personal reading. So if you want a reading right now, text me, email, email me, visit my website, lamartownsintero.com. Like I said, I am available and I would love to read for you. So do not hesitate to reach out. <laughs> All right. What's the final card for Christian Keys? Final card for Christian Keys in the name of Jesus. Let's see. Helper of thought. Helper of thoughts. Look at the bird. The owl. Is that an owl? No, it looks like just a, a, some sort of bird. A little bird, he told me, right? Ooh, listen to this, you all. It says, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best as you can. You know, will meet, or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps, grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. Well, this is about to move fast. All right. This situation with Christian Keys. He's been holding on to this for a while, and finally he decided to release it. Good for him. All right. All right, you all. Well, that's the end of this reading. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. I'm Lamar Townsend. I am once again a psychic, a tarot reader. Um, a psychic, a tarot reader, an astrologer, a medium, um, candle magic person. All right. <laughs> all of the above. All right. So I will see you all in the next video. I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light and God bless. And stay protected and stay encouraged. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. 
When the planets align, spirit speaks on time. That's me. That's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time. That's me. That's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong. That's me. That's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong. That's me. That's me. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.